Howdy all. Hello guys, we are back in MGS2. And in the last part we rescued Emma. Yep. Um, we still got a... And we had a rivalry between Otacon and Emma as well, when they were arguing with each other. Oh, by the way, walk straight down, don't walk round, because there are claymores. On the other side. So make sure when you're walking down, do the right side, not the left side. Otherwise, you'll go kaboom, and then Emma will die, and then Ot Otacon will be all pissed off at you for it. Yeah. <laughs> Got this disc that the president gave me. This disc is supposed to contain a virus that can corrupt Arsenal Gear's operating system. We need you to... This is... This is my program. What? Why did the president give it to you? Huh? Did something happen to the president? wrote this virus? It's not really a virus. It's more like a worm cluster. It's actually a delayed effect autonomous program that's designed to invade GW cerebrum and render its nerve connections useless. You know what GW is? Of course. I created it. Huh? You look surprised. Uh, well... Cat got your tongue? I'm sorry. I... How about the Patriots? Ever heard of them? Yes, but I only know what I've been told. Can you tell me what you know? Um, sure, but it's hard to put into words. Right. Are you reading me, Emma? Yes, loud and clear. The president said that we'll go swimming next year. Patriots That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yes, we certainly will. I gotta say, these cutscenes are gonna take about twenty to thirty minutes. Okay, that's this gonna be a whole part. I gotta say, I gotta say, this conversation is probably the longest codec call out of all the ones I've seen. Along with the one where you first speak to the colonel as soon as um, you land on the building with Solidus. But this is one of the longest ones, definitely. Yeah, but we kind of have to play it because, you know, yep. play through purposes and all that. Certainly. That's true. The speed of the circulation process is accelerating on an almost daily basis. The Patriots seem to be afraid of this development. Apparently, they believe that their role will shift from dominant to dominated. Let me give you an example. You're aware of Solid Snake's anti-Metal Gear activities, aren't you? Yeah, I know a little about it. Well, that's just a small sample of uncontrolled information. I can guarantee you the Patriots did not want Solid Snake's name publicized. Now, look at it like this. Political scandal, corporate corruption, up until now, the Patriots have managed to keep a lid on these and other self-serving events. But with their existing data processing system, they're no longer able to effectively control the flow of information generated at the individual level. With the newly created system, they can fully regulate digital information. High-level information can be categorized in stages, given clearance levels, and deleted as necessary, never to be seen by the public. By deleting such information, the Patriots can shape the course of history as they see fit. Somebody's bound to catch on. No, the memory capacity, not to mention the lifespan of the average individual, is extremely limited. On the other hand, digital information lasts virtually forever. It doesn't deteriorate. So? The alphabet. 26 letters, right? It could have been 30 letters. What if the four deleted letters were controlled by a program? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Okay, what are the last four letters of the alphabet A, B, C, T, E, G? That's what was announced at the no turn of the century, but there's actually a hundred thousand. It's just an example, right? Yeah. About how the Patriots had these bunch of letters and how some of them could be deleted away from the you know, GW system. Yeah. I gotta say, when I first watched this cutscene, I thought to myself. <laughs> it seemed a bit confusing to me. Like, yeah. What do you think? A little. I mean, you have to be quite savvy. Okay, explain GW in the AI and everything. Yeah. Explain it. Explain it to us. I still haven't got a fucking clue. To be honest. <laughs> I gotta say, MGS1 and MGS3's plots are the only ones that are really easier to understand than to enforce. Yeah. 
But I think basically, isn't GW supposed to be like one of the main programs or whatever for Patriots and that? that yes, yeah, so and the Arsenal AI is what controls GW and the Patriots. And I half get it and I half don't. You have to. It's one of those plots where you have to play it more than once to fully understand it. Yeah. What do you mean? I guess there are plenty of other reasons. Yes, there are. I understand. Do you? So Arsenal Gear was actually designed to protect the GW system, wasn't it? Um, yes. Yeah, I do, um... I actually do have the Japanese versions of um, the Metal Gear Solid games. Metal yeah. Gear Solid 1 through 3, with the original voice acting. Okay. Hmm. But is the AI actually capable of controlling everything? No. It was about 30 quid or so. It's only for well, that's not too bad. You get about six games or so. The actual not too bad at all, actually. Mm -hmm. task exists within our social structure. Because since I had a Japanese PS2, I thought, why not I'll get the Japanese versions with the original voice you acting? The you see what it's like. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, the that... Y2K, Y2K, I remember Y2K. Yes. I mean, who doesn't remember the Y2K problem? That's in New York City, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Like, oh, we're all gonna die, or... The world's gonna come to an end. Yeah, do you remember... Shit, yeah. Coming out I was gonna say, do you remember, you know, before the year 2000... Was it 12 or 13? 12. Yeah, 2012, everyone was talking about how the world was going to end. And as soon as that house said to myself, it's not gonna end. And what happened? It didn't end before... Yes. See, and there you go. The world didn't <laughs> end. <laughs> if it's going to end, no one's going to bloody tell us. It's just going to happen. You know how a computer operates? Exactly. Wouldn't everyone be panicking? Yeah. Wouldn't everyone be going around calling up people to try hide underground or something? But no. They even said the world was going to end in the year 2000. And I thought, why? <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. The world was not going to end around the year 2000. No. Because they thought, since it's a century, they thought it was going to end. I heard they were planning a major experiment in the then next what was it, 2006? It seems to be like all this happens. every six years at this point. If it wasn't for the terrorists. Yeah, you're right. Well, I think that's about all I know. Right. Uh, thanks. I think we'd better head for the computer room. Find the computer room! My bird in the computer room. Is he safe? I think cool. it's, uh, yeah, because I do remember clearly if it's after these cutscenes, that's where it's more likely to work. So shall we do it before we go swimming? Well, we can always try and see. Oh yeah, remember that parakeet? Oh yes. Actually, did you know that parrot is also an MGS3? Is it? Yeah. How can it be an MGS3 if it's like 1964 and this is like 2000 and something? It could be a different one. Yeah. But it just looks it the same. It is a different one. Got a little longer to cover than the last Actually, time. I do know if you kill that parrot, the end gets all pissed off at you for it. And he becomes more aggressive in combat. It become, makes the boss fight more difficult. Once we get past it, it'll be too dark to see anything. What are those sticks in your head? These? They're lacquered chopsticks. They hold your hair in place. Did you know that they're pretty When I saw the word chopsticks, I thought, what? what? You're supposed to eat with them. <laughs> but no, no. It's, it's different. Oh, here comes Rose, getting pissed off. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. It certainly is. You said that cutscene lasted half an hour. <laughs> no, felt like that to me. When I first played it. No, only ten minutes. Right, so let's call you know, Snake and see if... You know, the argument starts. Please, come on. We need more sibling rivalry. We know where to go. We know what to do. Okay, Ryden, let me Here we go. Hey! I was going to say, we've already done this one. Yeah. We've already done the first two. But it, it's still, moving forward ahead. I was going to say, we've already done the first two anyway. We've already done these two. It's number three we want to do. Three onwards, isn't it? Yes, there's about three conversations. What's up, Ryden? Yeah, so I've done this. <laughs> Come on, give us the goods. Give us the comedy. Let me talk to him. Hey! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Busy right now. You'll have to settle for me. What? Uh, okay. Right. Now, what do you want? 
Hal's wrong. Science doesn't exist to benefit the world. Uh, then what is it for? Science is for the individual. For me, it's a way to realize my dreams. That sounds pretty greedy. You can't realize your dreams without greed. And what's your dream? Take revenge on Hal. To beat him in his own game. Revenge? I am going to make him regret the day he left me. I am going to make him realize he was wrong. Of uh, all the idiotic. I think that's enough. Idiotic? It's my goal, my reason for being alive. Hal is wrong. He's only being used by his country. He's pitiful. Even you guys are using him. Me? I'm using science to achieve my own dream. Real bright lady. That's exactly the line that scientists are never meant to cross. Right. I sold my soul for revenge. I will never forgive him. I'll pretend this conversation never happened. No. You tell my brother exactly what I said. Emma. What? You're speaking your mind, not your heart. <sighs> Just leave it at that. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why, this is why Solid Snake is always going to be my favourite MGS character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just leave it there. <laughs> Go back and get her. Come on, you bitch, come on. That's kind of funny, though. That was amusing. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to say, what's why your... Why didn't you play earlier, then? Did you have to have that scene? Play earlier? I have no idea. No clue. All I know is that you'll get more of a percentage chance of getting that cutscene if you do all the cutscenes beforehand first. I don't know why it is, but that's just the way it is. Alright, so you want to make sure you avoid these mines as well, otherwise it's going to do massive damage. Yeah, my and husband's up to this point in this game. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I won't say anything. Yeah, since, Sol <laughs> yeah since Solid Snake's my favourite MGS character, who's your favourite? It definitely has to be Snake for me as well, I think, because he's just an amazing character funny and badass and just awesome and see that's how you do it <laughs> you make it look so easy wow you know why this is easy for me you've done it so many times i know it's my most completed gaming franchise of all time so that says something so those bugs on the floor What'd you do that for? Makes it much easier because instead of having to use the coolant spray to, you know, move all those bugs out of the way, see much, see how much quicker this is. Oh yeah, I remember the bugs. You had to use the coolant spray because Emma got freaked out by them. And you have to go around and spray them and it's kind of annoying. So simply just tranquilize her, drag her in there, and as soon as you get to the top floor... She's awake again. Yep, that fast. Okay, well there you go. If you want a quick way of doing it, just knock her out. <laughs> much quicker way of doing it. Okay, there's soldiers here now. Mm -hmm. There's about two more up ahead, and there's going to be one coming down, coming up the um, elevator. That's something that doesn't, doesn't make sense, though. There's, there's only one floor down there, isn't there? Yes. So where did that soldier exactly come from? Did he actually swim through all that stuff? I do not know. As you're about to see. See? Really makes you think, did he have to swim for all that stuff? Or was he up there for a while? I don't know. Where exactly did he come from? I have no idea. That's that's kind of weird. It's kind of a plot hole there, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we didn't see him at all when we were down there. You can't go up. Mm-hmm. Certainly can't. God, they're everywhere. Actually, did you know? Buggers. Did you know on very easy mode there's only about three guards, whereas on um, normal mode, hard mode, and extreme there's about six enemies oh. around this post and shell T. Okay. Okay. The KL connecting bridge with Japanese text beneath it.
Yeah, we had to take a break there. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, our nan came in. <laughs> it was quite expected, wasn't it? Yeah. So basically, then again, there's a bridge. Unexpected things can happen. Yeah. Yeah, like the fact that there is now a bridge here. Yes. So that we can walk Emma across. Actually, that does make a little bit of sense, how Ocelot crossed the um, bridge, because this was set back up again. Oh, is he too old to do backflips like us? Maybe. He can't even jump either, so it makes sense. Yeah. Oh god, here comes another god. Yeah, more you of these don't, You don't want to be caught by these guys, particularly with Emma. So you really need to take everything out. You certainly do. I was going to say, MGS3 did that very similar thing though, when you have to um, protect Eva. But with Eva, all you have to do is you have to like stand from a certain distance, press triangle, and then she'll follow you. And also, she can protect herself with a gun. Whereas with Emma, she can't protect herself. Yeah, and she can't even walk on her own. Hmm. Um, but yeah. Strut L? Yep. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go in. Damn it. What's wrong? This door is security level 5. I don't have card 5. Damn. Giving up already? Ta-da! What the... Are you impressed? You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. Does anyone think that Emma might fancy riding a little bit? Uh, she does. Especially, I'm going to show you off an easter egg later on when you get onto the, um, you know, the bridge, when you have to protect Emma. Because on that bridge, you can, um, you can actually use a directional microphone to see what she's saying, and then afterwards, Ryden can call her later on. And find out that he actually finds, um, Ryden's hair very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryden has got very attractive hair. And then Ron is like, this is my real hair, okay? When she was asking, he's got fake hair and all that, thinking, is that his hair real or not? This is my real hair, okay? About what you said on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you actually eavesdrop her talking to herself. Oh yeah, with the directional microphone, of course. But yeah, in order to get back to Shell 1, you know, the Shell 1 area, we need to take this route because obviously we can't go across the bridge because that has been destroyed. Pretty much. It's so we have to take route. the oil vents at the bottom of Strut L to go all the way back to Strut E. Yep, this is the only way back. It's a long way down. Sadly, yes. question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down the ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Huh. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. Okay, her numbness is gone, so we just dragged her there just because she wanted to hold Ryden's hand. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna, I was gonna say, would it be quite funny if the numbness came back? She was like, Ryden, what's wrong? The numbness, it's back, and she falls off the ladder. <laughs> no, Emma, 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 Emma. <laughs> do do do. I like the way she climbs that ladder all the way down. Yeah, just like taking it slow, I've got all day. It's like she's trying to exercise on the ladders. It's like she's exercising. No, it's just like Ryan's climbing down it, you know, quicker than she is. <gasps> the sunset, it's beautiful. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. I was trying to enjoy a romantic moment with you, and you just had to go and ruin it, you douche! So, 
There's gonna be enemy sentries and claymores, claymores and uh, and the only way you ciphers. can actually see them is use the thermal goggles to be able to see them. Yeah. Otherwise. And you need to take them out because Emma has to go first. She certainly does. So you have to make sure you protect her. I remember back when we were kids, he used to say this really funny quote. Rather than round she goes or something. So you sing that song. Why don't time. you just carry Emma on your back and swim over there, you stupid idiot? <laughs> because it's the ocean and Emma can't particularly. Well, she clung onto the back of Riley. Well, yeah, but you got to keep in mind this is the ocean, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's probably a significantly colder. But the water that came in the building was from the ocean. It leaked in. Mm -hmm. So it'd be the same sort of temperature and everything. Did they actually say there was something wrong with the water, though, to begin with? No, there was supposed to be uh, toxic leaks, but um, with the whole Arsenal gear thing, it's looking like that was fake. Mm. According to Argon, anyway. Yeah. I know the drill. That's what I, I think the reason is but, like because of the soldiers and all that leaking around. If you're in the water, you can't get your gun out. I guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit You can actually hit Snake as well though. You can actually shoot Snake and he'll be all like, What where you're aiming? And then you call them and be like, Right then, I'm on your side. That was a pretty good shot, kid. Now about how I'm aiming at the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> It could take so many gunshot bullets, it's insane. That's because Snake is the best. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Yeah, but you were holding on to Ryden this entire time. Yeah. No for an answer? No. no. Alright, get going. You'll be fine. No, you won't. You You'll won't. die. You'll, You'll get killed by a claymore. What? You're not going to survive this encounter. So, what we have to do here is defend Emma. And use the thermal goggles to see where the claymores are on the bridges. I believe that if you didn't have a... Uh, what what was it? Um, a PSG... PG... PSG-1 tranquilizer at this point. Would you get one here? Uh, no, you wouldn't. Okay. You only get it in the vent back in strut F. Okay, but well, what about the original PSG one? You'd need that to get past what? Oh, you're you're actually no, because you'll get the PSG one here regardless. So if you missed out on it and you get it here. Yeah, pretty much. If you're playing it on very easy mode, there are no claymores, right? There isn't no. Oh, battery's running low. Uh huh. It certainly is. I can see that. <laughs> he's going. He's going. I can see that. <laughs> What are you looking for? Claymores, obviously. Oh, of course. Uh, Diazepam. I'll stop playing there. <laughs> yes, you've got some. Okay. Ah! Who's There's one there. No shit. <laughs> See any problem? You need to make sure you have enough pentazamine. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make sure your PSG one steady. Another thing and about this, wobble all over the place. exactly. Another thing that really bothers me about the PSG one and MGS two, it does feel kind of awkward when you have to line up your shots because if you're using a left analog stick to line up your bullet shots, you've got to be sometimes really precise. You've got to be really perfect when you aim. The only problem with this is that my God, Emma moves at the speed of a slug. It, it does kind of drag on a bit, I think. This yeah. section. Sometimes it goes on a bit too longer than necessary. That's what I think anyway. It goes on a bit too long, I think. Yeah. And also, depending on what difficulty you're playing on, Snake will call Raiden and say that just call me when you want to shoot. And you can pretty much let Snake do all the work and you don't have to do anything. All you've got to do is make sure you look at the enemies and so forth. Yeah. But you can't do that in low lower difficulties? Um, on lower difficulties you can, 
because um, on the lower difficulties, Snake will call you more early. If you're playing on the harder difficulties, on extreme mode, it's at the near the very end of it. Uh. On very easy mode, it's on the first bridge. Easy and normal is on the second bridge. Hard mode and extreme is on the third bridge. Okay, so if you ran out of Pentasmin... Oh, here we go. Yep. If you ran out of Pentasmin, you could just say, here you go, USB, Snake, you USB, finish. USB. Okay, so now, uh, yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah, so Snake's called, so you can kind of now expect him to help. So let him do all the work. So every single time you aim your PSG-1 or scope at an enemy or a cypher or anything, Snake will shoot them for yourself. So all you have to do is mainly look at them and then boom, Snake will destroy them. You can help oh. out to make things much easier though. You can help out to make things much easier if you want to, but... I think it's nice to have that second hand. If you know you're going to miss something, then you've got Snake on hand. Just to back to, you up. To back you up and just to hit everything that you're going to miss. It makes things much easier. Especially if you're like running out of... Uh... PSG-1 bullets. I was going to say, but you never run out though, because every single time you hit zero, there's going to be more PSG-1 bullets for you to pick up. I was on about the Pentasamine actually, but... Okay. No, because even when the Pentasium runs out, runs out, you can still pick up some more on the far side. Okay. So you never run out. Okay, um... You're, you're going to shoot Snake, or...? Yeah, might as well, actually. Where is he? He's at the far end. There we go. Oh, Pantasium. <laughs> he shames at you and he shoots you. Now, let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. My sniping field will be limited to the air... Okay, yeah, let's try again, let's try again. Oh, don't force it if... He shot me in the arm. Watch where you're aiming. Right, watch where you're aiming. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are you aiming at? Cover Emma. That's a pretty good shot, kid. Now how about aiming at the enemy? Oh, <laughs> snake. <laughs> We love you so much. <laughs> we love his short temper. Oh, we love when Snake gets all pissed off and you're out of Pentasmine. I can see that. Oh, so much for helping a Snake. There you go. Ah, so you can pick some more up, that's great. Without having to climb up. The thermal goggles really help out here because it, it, yeah, makes it easier to spot everyone. Is this the bit where she goes on about the hair? I think. How did all this happen? I think I might have missed it's a good it. Thing, it's a good thing we've got Snake on hand here while we're doing this. That's true. What am I doing here? I can't do this. You can. Oh, did you see the one about joining an e Emma meeting? No. It's actually around the corner. I'm going to make sure it's all taken out first. Now, before she goes around the third um, pillar's column, what you have to do is you have to make sure you take out the enemies beforehand, otherwise it's not going to work. So you're going to have to take out all these cameras and you get the idea. That's not really important. Well, no, because they can do it for us, so... Well, just in case the cameras might come close and, you know, spot Emma. Yeah. So, let's see where she is. She's there, isn't she? We're making sure she's near it. Oh, there she is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. There you go. I don't hear anything. You have to wait until she gets round. Freeze! Ah! A girl? What are you doing here? It's not by choice, thank you very much. Oh. You're not gonna shoot me. No. Why not? Stay away from good-looking women when you're fighting. Otherwise, you'll get hit with diarrhea. Huh? One of the few things I learned from Shadow Moses. What are you talking about? 
ancient history. Don't worry about it. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, but does this mean you're letting me go? Well, you could have found a nicer way to say that, but sure. Better hurry. Thanks. Don't mention it. Just run like hell. Oh, no, my stomach. Not again. Oh. This place is about to sink. Just get out fast, okay? Oh. Wait. What? What's your name? Don't have one. Huh? Okay, fine. It's Johnny. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Hey, if we run into each other again... Oh. Huh. What a weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly is. is. Does she talk about his hair? Um, I just realised I missed it out on the first column because you've got to do it on the first one. Oh, okay. But we spotted Johnny and we got a trophy for it. It's true. Right, now you want to use the thermal goggles. At least you've taken out the claymores. Mm -hmm. It's true. Go snake! <laughs> Render us obsolete. Do all the work for us. Okay, now but she's, she's nearly there. She's nearly there. I was going to say, I do think this bit kind of um, drags out on a bit too long now, I think. Yeah, definitely. I don't like this bit at all. So we can do is just use the scope because he can do it just all for us. Yeah, just let the snake do the work. And there she is, he's just right there and she's right there and yeah, we're nearly there finally. Well, no, just a couple of more steps when she gets into that pillar, then we're done for this part. And then somebody's going to be coming along. So, cutscene, Emma's walking along quite happily and merrily and... Oh my god, no, Vamp! It's the ballerina himself! Just when you thought he died, he comes back and says, Reminds you that, fuck you, I'm immortal. Actually, what's interesting about this game, when you first play MGS2, he says, I can die twice because, oh, he's a vampire, so you can only survive three times. And he doesn't come back after he's been shot down here. Then MGS4 comes out and decides to say, yeah, Bamp is immortal. There you go. Yeah. The idea is he's going to, you know, try and hold Emma hostage. You just shoot him. Make sure you keep on shooting him in the head, then it's no problem. It's not really a boss fight. It's quite easy to do. Well, yeah, because if he, you know, if he goes after Emma, if you can't hit Emma because she's fight way too short. Uh, not, not only that, though, because... Um, Uh-oh. Uh oh, she's in a bad condition. Not only that though, if you aim for the head three times, then you should be fine. Oh, she's been stabbed. And yeah, Otacon's not gonna be happy. And in MGS4, he obviously wanted revenge on Vamp. Can't blame him. That's his own sister. That is his sister. And I bet all the stuff she said about Otacon, she didn't mean. Yeah. You say lots of things when you're angry, but you don't mean them. Over here as soon as possible. I'm afraid her time's running out. I'll be there. 